So what do we mean by an experience? An experience can be uh, described in many ways, and I'll give you one version of that. Um, an experience can be seen as a holistic view of how people go through a, a set of events as they are in time. Um, it could be something that uh, they encounter when they go through the subway or they uh, go to a restaurant and have a nice dinner. All those points in time, that's something that they uh, go through. And that's a very important aspect of an experience, is time. Is you go through th certain things and you go through it in a short order. Uh, it could be seconds, but sometimes it could be years. Another aspect of experiences is flow. Is saying, well, these things don't happen just in random. These things will happen in a certain order. And a certain flow to things, that's very much part of a uh, characteristic of, a, the, of an experience. A third one is uh, participation. Is people will go through experiences not just by themselves, but they will go through experiences either by, by interacting with products or a website or uh, an environment, a space, but also interact with other people while they're having the experience. You, they won't necessarily be alone. So the interaction, the social interaction that can happen with other people is very much part of the description when you talk about experiences. Another one is that we feel not only just utilitarian, this is what we want to do uh, in a certain time uh, and place, we usually also have an emotion around the experience that we're having. A clear example always is a, is a movie, is that you always feel emotionally moved by what happens on the screen, either positively or negatively, or happy or sad. But the emotion is a very big part of experiences, that when you walk into a building, there's always this moment of, wow, this is a space, this is something specific, this is something that is new, this is exciting, or this is jarring and I don't know where to go. And we all have those kind of experiences too. So all those things together bring up what we call experiences. And of course they're all funneled through one thing that we all have is our human senses. They're triggered by what we see, what we feel, what we hear, what we taste, and what we sense. And it's something that is really coming together with all those characteristics in mind.